Hello Taurus, this is your reading for the 14th through the 15th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see what's going on for Taurus today. What's going on with Taurus and love? Please show me what's going on with Taurus and love. Taurus, please show me. Please show me. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting on something here. Trying to figure something out, though. Um, I'm feeling like there's something that you guys have invested a lot of your time and energy into that um, you're trying to figure out. Is it worth putting more into? Okay. Is it worth waiting on something or or going forward? I'm feeling like a lot of you are hopeful as well that. Um, that something can be either continue to be built upon or to be rebuilt or restructured here, okay? Five of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of thinking that you guys are doing. Um, maybe you and someone else have not always agreed, um, but it has a lot in a situation but I, I think for the most part right now um you guys are conflicted over what should you do at this point should you continue to invest in something here should you try again should you be hopeful should you wait um and, and i'm just getting that that's where this conflict is coming from this five of wands it's like you don't really know what to do okay Leo energy there. And then the devil. Capricorn energy. I'm feeling like there there's there's a strong fear attached to this situation. Um, maybe that somebody is not gonna be on the same accord with you. They're not going to want to work things out, want to come to an amicable agreement. Okay, um, this is feeling very strongly attached to someone here. I'm feeling like there are some anger issues in this situation as well, um, whether it's you guys or whether it's someone else has some real like um, anger issues. Hmm. Let's see. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of fights here, too. A lot of fights in this situation, whether um, physical or verbal. Okay, it could be both uh, or it could be either. Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Page of Wands. A lot of you are thinking that, you know, you invested a lot of time and energy into this situation and feeling like you just do not want to throw it away. Okay, but I'm getting that that is one thing that you didn't consider before was that you had already invested a lot of time into the situation. I'm thinking this is something that has just um, come into play as far as you want to take action on something. I, I'm looking more at myself, I'm noticing <laughs> instead of at the camera, but I'm sorry for that. But um, yeah, I, I'm getting that, you know, at one point in time, you guys felt like you had done enough that um, there was too much conflict here and you were just done with it, okay? But now I'm getting that you're thinking the opposite, that you have indeed put a lot of time and energy into this connection. And it's like, do I really want to give up on it? Even though you had a lot of conflict with um, within this connection here, please show me more about the Five of Wands, the Empress. A lot of conflict with this individual, but I think now you guys are, I think now you're, you're realizing you, you've worked on yourself is what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, but I'm getting a, you would like to see a new beginning. You would like to see growth in this connection um you also see this person as somebody that you could have it all with 
Okay, you see happiness, happiness. You see potential happiness um, with this situation. Okay, but nevertheless, you guys, I mean, you got into it a lot. I'm seeing it, okay? Please show me more about the devil. Please show me more about the devil energy. Two of swords. Very confused, I feel. Lots of thinking. Lots of going back and forth. What should I do? Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling you guys feeling very uncomfortable um, because the situation, I don't know, I don't think you guys know if if there is anything that you can do is a thing here or somebody does not know if there's something that they can do to change this. Okay, let's see who's coming towards Taurus. Just leave her energy there. Who's coming towards Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what else? Ooh, Eight of Swords. Um, Gemini energy there. I'm getting a lot of worrying um, coming from you. Or the individual that you're thinking about, Gemini energy there. Maybe you guys, some of you are on, excuse me, on the Taurus Gemini cusp. But feeling like trapped in your own thoughts, not really knowing um, the best move in the situation. Uh, the right thing to say, the right thing to do here. There's also somebody I feel like you would definitely like to offer to. And feeling like this person's not going to hear you out. Hmm. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Please show me why the Eight of Swords is here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Five of Wands again. So not only was there a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing in this situation, somebody here is trapped in their own head. I'm feeling like there's a struggle here mentally with someone, okay? Um, and there's also, I, I feel like somebody's trapped by anger. Somebody's trapped by thoughts that somebody's trapped by thoughts that um, the other person is not going to allow them to get a word in edgewise. Um, it's like they constantly are talking themselves out of like communicating, reaching out. Um, thinking the worst. So as of right now, there is a battle within somebody, whether it's you guys or the other individual. Why is this happening? Please show me why this is happening. Please show me why this is happening. Why is this situation happening with Taurus and the person you're thinking about? Queen of Cups. See that Queen of Cups right there? It's like, you know, her head is turned one way and offering the cup another way. Somebody is really not sure. They know they love the other person, but not really sure. It's almost like, are they going to take it? I don't know. You know, just worrying themselves into a tizzy because, you know, wanting to offer to the other individual, but feeling like it's going to be shot down. It's not going to be accepted. It's not going to be reciprocated here in the King of Pentacles. Hmm. There's, there's like this energy where... 
This Queen of Cups is extending to the King of Pentacles, but not fully extending. And what I'm getting here is that, you know, some of you feel like there is a potential that this person still loves you, but there's also the potential that they don't. And it's that part of it that is like somebody is really struggling with just just the fact that this person may not love you anymore or vice versa. That is where the struggle is coming in at because there is a very strong attachment here, very, very strong connection here. Um, but there was a lot of toxicity here. There was a lot of arguments, fighting, disagreements, um, anger issues, may have been some other vices, um, some other addictions going on in this connection. But here... I can honestly say that the struggle is real because I see it with the five of wands and the eight of swords there. That's a lot going on. It's like a battle inside of somebody's head and um, it, it doesn't feel good. Okay. So cancer, um, maybe another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy that's here. Um, Gemini, Leo is here strong. Um Aries, maybe Sag is here. Libra's here as well. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.